Hey guys, this is Premium Poppy. God bless you. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Now I am welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky. Last time we went uh, through Waterfall Cave, I believe it is, and we went to see the Wise Elder Torkoal. We got a little bit of information on the Hidden Land, and now we're going to continue on and see what we got to do. Ahem. So in short, the Hidden Land remains shrouded in mystery, but we're not giving up. Hooray! Let's get out there and investigate again today. Let's go, everyone. Hooray! Where should we go investigate today, Poppy? But we already talked to Torkoal. We're out of leads. Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Whose footprints? Whose footprints? The footprints belongs to Torkoal, the town elder. The footprint, the footprint belongs to Torkoal, the, the town elder. What? Torkoal's here? Indeed he is. <sighs> Finally, I've caught up with you. Oh, climbing up this guild is hard on these old bones. What brings you here, Torkoal? Did you maybe remember something? Indeed I did. But I've recalled only one more tiny thing, sorry to say. Yesterday, I contemplated for the waters of the hot spring for a long time. Finally, one recollection surfaced. But it really is something small. I worry if it would even be worthwhile sharing with you. Not a worry. Every little bit of information helps. However small. Please, say it. Say it. When we spoke of travel to the Hidden Land yesterday, I said you needed proof of your qualification to go there. I remembered a bit more about that proof. The proof bears an inscription of a certain pattern. A certain pattern? Hey, hey, so what kind of pattern would it be? Uh, how can I describe it? It's difficult to describe it. But I can tell you that the pattern is quite intricate and odd. It's a peculiar pattern, the kind of pattern you rarely see. A pattern you rarely see? Golly! You think that it could be- you think I could think of something? But trying to think of such a thing is not easy when one tries. Huh, what could it be? The kind of pattern that you rarely see. What kind of pattern could it look like? A pattern you rarely see. A peculiar- <gasps> Wait a second! A peculiar pattern? A peculiar pattern! I remember that time! So one day, I happened to come across my relic fragment. I admit, it looks like junk, but take a closer look. See? That inscription forms a, a strange pattern, doesn't it? It's true. There's a strange in inscription. I've never seen a pattern like this. That's it! The relic fragment was inscribed with a peculiar pattern. Huh, what is it, Poppy? What? My relic fragment? Oh, right! That pattern! Excuse me, could you have a look at this? Oh! This is it! It's a pattern exactly like this! What? Where did you get this? Well, I'm not sure if I can remember. I just have to pick it up. Yippee! This is fabulous! Since Roland has this, does that mean that Roland is qualified to go to the Hidden Land? That I wouldn't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. To go to the Hidden Land, one must possess uh, that proof. But that does not certainly mean that one bears the proof really possesses the qualification to be chosen. That proof mer may merely be the physical key to the Hidden Land. Even before that, though, this shares the same inscripted pattern. There's no such connection between this relic fragment and the Hidden Land. Oh, but there's no question about this pattern it has something to do with the Hidden Land? Knowing only that is a lot. I suppose so. Wait, do you re realize that Hidden Land is only spoke a spoken le legend, right? You're surely not trying to find the Hidden Land. Yes, we are. My goodness, what a surprise! Chatot, this pattern, we've seen it somewhere, haven't we? What? Yes, the sea inlet to the northwest, inside Bran Cave. But Guildmaster, that place! Yes, I know, the vicious bandits were there. A vicious... 
Bandit, by golly! Everyone, please listen. I once saw the same pattern deep inside a place called Brand Cave. I think we can discover more by taking the relic fragment there. However, there is one problem. A Pokemon lurks there, who is a vicious bandit. Hey, hey! We're not about to let that scare us! Aren't we explorers? We all need to be brave! Thanks, everyone! But that place is challenging. Everyone should take time today to get it ready. We'll set off for Brian Cave tomorrow! Hooray! <laughs> I thought that the Hidden Land was no nothing more than folklore. Getting old has made me thinking has made my thinking so inflexible. That's very sad. This all makes me remember the days when I dreamt of romance and adventure. Help me to see my dreams again. Do your best. <laughs> yes, you can count on us. Thank you, Torkoal. Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Spend the rest of the day getting ready. Okay, dismissed. Hooray! Yup, yup. We'll get ready, by golly. Oh my gosh, this will be so exciting. Chatot. Chatot, will you stay at the guild tomorrow on standby? Guildmaster! Forgive me if I'm out of line, but... Please let me go to Brian Cave! Nope! I can't let you face any danger like that ever again! But that's why! That's why I must go! Please take me to Brian Cave! Okay. Then I want you to go with Team Darkstar tomorrow. Guide Poppy's team to the place where we saw the strange pattern. But I want you to be careful. Thank you! I won't let you down! Another thing. I have something I need to do. So I have to go out. You're in charge while I'm gone! As you wish. So that's where it stands. You two will be with me tomorrow. As such, Team's Darkstar non-guild members may not come along. Brian Cave is a vicious foe lying in wait. You mustn't let your guard down, and don't do anything that keeps you from succeeding there. Succeeding there. Ugh, okay. Poppy, let's get ready. Let's go to Treasure Town. Alright. Oh, to be young again. If I was a youngster, I certainly joined the challenge to find the hidden land. Whoa, hold it there, old timer. Who is it? What is it? What do you want? <laughs> well, we're Team Skull. Did you have any business with Wigglytuff's guild, old timer? Whoa, I overheard you saying something that sounded fun. Something about the hidden land. <laughs> I... I was only... Huh, someone's coming. Whoa, guild chumps. Old timer, why don't we take this chat somewhere where we won't be disturbed? <laughs> hey! Well, that ain't good. Uh-oh, Team Skull's certainly on the loose. Oh boy. Alright, so let's go get ready in uh, Treasure Town. We certainly did quite a bit, honestly. We, um... It's been quite a ride, but we're going to Brian Cave. If you hear any noise, my uh, I'm moving my desk with my leg. I have my like my leg propped up, and it's yeah. I'm just relaxing. I I've enjoyed this little bit of dialogue. It's pretty fun. But I hope your guys' day is going well. I know mine is. God bless to you all. It's been a pretty good day. Very busy, but you know it's not overly bad. I I, I can't complain. We got a blue gummy, a white gummy, a yellow gummy, and yeah, I'm gonna use them all. Um, yeah, let's go right over to the, uh, Spindus Cafe. Oh, right, Poppy. We should go over to Sharpedo Bluff before you go back to the guild, just in case Groval comes back. Let's go check out Sharpedo Bluff, Poppy. Alright, uh, maybe we'll find Groval there. Maybe he's collected the time gears and we're actually gonna take him with us. Um, I also wanna put some items away. Uh, let's see, what items can we put away? Mmm, one, let's put two, no, one Sleep Seed and... A max elixir. That should be good. Um, and we're gonna take out a orm barrier too. Uh, we have plenty of orm berries. I'm gonna take out. No, I'm gonna take out one. That should be good enough. Nope, we're all set. All right. 
Time to go to the, uh, Sharpedo Bluff and see what's there. Uh, is Grovile back? I wonder. Let's go. Uh, Grovile isn't here. Oh, hey, over there. There's a sheet of paper. There's something written on it in the footprint ruins. Ruins. This is a letter from Grovile. It must be a message for us. I'll read it. Roland began reading the letter from Grovile. To Poppy and Roland. How are things doing? How goes the search for the hidden land? Are things going well on things are going well on my end? I already collected three time gears. I only have to find two more time gears. I plan to join you when I collected all five. Plans have proceeded smooth smoothly. Azelf and his friends understood the situation, and they have fully cooperated. Azelf told me that the members of your guild let them know I was coming. Thank you. It's heartening to know that more and more Pokemon are coming to trust us. However, I will continue to stay away from Treasure Town and the guild. First, I'm not certain of if the Pokemon in this world trust me entirely or not, but there's something more troubling than that. Dustnor is liable, for, is, is liable to return from the future at any time. Dustnor? Come to think of it, Dustnor failed to get rid of us in the future. He wouldn't put it, I wouldn't put it past him to chase us here. He still wants us gone. Okay, I'll keep reading. Since Dustnor will be coming, we should keep a low profile. This is another reason I should stay away from Treasure, Treasure Town and the Guild. I may instead come back to Sh Sharpedo Bluff or the beach. If we should meet, then we can exchange information. Good luck on your end. Together, we shall stop the world's paralysis. From Grovile. Okay. It sounds like Grovile is hard at work. We'd better not fail on our end. According to this letter, Grovile will show up either here or at the beach. If we go down to the beach, maybe we'll see Grovile there. We should go to the beach before we go back to the guild. Alright. It's Grovile's letter. No, I do not want to read it. But that's interesting. So, Grovile is actually cooperated, well, let me rephrase that. Azelf, uh, Mesper, and Yuxi actually cooperated with Grovile, which is phenomenal for us. Um, and for Grovile. Three of the five time gears were collected, so that's really cool. Let's actually go right here first. Um, I'm gonna use these thing, the, uh, the gummies up. Let's order some gummies. Blue gummy, uh, let's have Roland drink the blue gummy, uh, drink. I really hope that he can get the, uh, max HP up. I have, like, a pack of crackers with me, so... I don't know why, I just, I like eating saltines. I mentioned it in one of the earlier episodes, like, saltines are pretty good, not gonna lie. <laughs> I just like them, I don't know. A white gummy, we're gonna have Roland drink that as well, and then we're gonna take the yellow gummy for ourselves. If Roland does not, you know. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, please. IQ went up. I see you're a true connoisseur. <laughs> it's a crabby. <laughs> I noticed the way you tasted your drink, getting to know the flavor before gulping it down. You're obviously a gourmet, and I would love to join you on your adventures. What do you think? Will you let me join your team? Eh, why not, Krabby? We'll just name you C Crab. There you go. Alright. Beautifully done. And we're gonna order the last one. That was pretty- I- that was, that was nice. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, I think the Krabbies actually are, um... Krabbies are actually at the beach, so that's pretty cool. Shake it this way, shake it that way, and stir it all around, and it's done! We drank the gummy, and IQ went up, and we learned Survivalist. Ooh, I wonder what Survivalist is. Let me look that up quickly. Oh, give me a second. Sorry about that, I, the controller wasn't working, and I, I realized I was clicking on the analog stick rather than the, uh, rather than the D-pad. Alright, let's go down to Team, Poppy, IQ, Survivalist. What's Survivalist? This Pokemon's belly fills up more than usual from eating. It also resists- Wow, that is actually really good. Alright, so not only will our belly fill up more, it also will make grimy food have a chance not to be, uh, like, give us poison or something. Chapter 18, Lapras. I was hoping to see Grovile here. No, he's not here after all. Speaking of not being here, the Krabby aren't here either. They always come out here in the evenings to blow bubbles. 
I love seeing their bubbles go floating away in the evening sky. Well, that's too bad. It's a letdown, but... Look, Poppy. The sunset's beautiful like it always is. You know... It was in my dream to solve the secret of my relic fragment. But I would never have guessed that the relic fragment was connected to the hidden land. That reminds me. It was here, wasn't it? Where Coughing and his sidekick stole my relic fragment. Indeed it was, Roland. Uh, a lot has changed since the relic fragment, fragment was stolen from you. Uh, you really grew up, Roland. You really grew up. A lot's changed. I remember. I was too scared to get it back. You gave me courage then, Poppy. You know, it was how we really started our team. Getting back this relic fragment was Team Darkstar's first adventure, and now we're using the same relic fragment so we can go to the Hidden Land. If you think about it, it's kind of strange. That's true. My adventure with Roland, and searching for the Hidden Land, the relic fragment was the start of both. This beautiful sunset. It will be lost if the planet's paralysis can't be stopped. We have to stop that. We can't waste any time finding the Hidden Land. We have to do good tomorrow, Poppy. That's right. We have to try hard. I must fulfill the mission that I had before losing my memory. My mission with Grovile. A mission to help Pokemon of this world and those of the future. What? Hey, Poppy. That... what is that? What could it be? It looks like it's swimming across the sunset. I think it's a Pokemon. Well, that's a little strange. The sun's almost gone. We should get back to the guild soon. <laughs> the Krabby went around for a good reason. They ran off, scared of us. <laughs> Whoa, oh, but Jeeve, the old timer Torkoal wasn't lying to us after all. <laughs> that junk we stole back then, I didn't know it was going to be something that valuable. So what? We'll get that relic fragment from the other one, from them one way or another. That means the hidden land is going to be explored by none other than us, Team Skull. <laughs> oh boy, that's not good. Lapras! Long time no see! It's been too long, Wigglytuff. You look well. Is Chadot doing well too? Yeah, very well. I'm glad to hear it. I've always meant to thank you. I deeply appreciate the promise you made and upheld for all this time. No problem, no big deal. But today, I'm here to see to you about that promise. We find ourselves in a situation where we can't afford to uphold that promise. I suspect you know why. So please tell me about that strange pattern we once saw. The next morning. Up and at him! It's morning! Interesting. So Wigglytuff's gonna ask this strange Lapras Pokemon about that strange encryption and pattern. Interesting. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. I hope you guys had liked this episode. I really did. It was pretty cool. I will see you guys in the next episode. God bless. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm really excited for the next episode. God bless.